Uh, this is uh, FT FT 300, the egg laying machine manufactured by Fortec Machinery. So we're just going to show you how to install this machine for easy installation. Okay, so let's have the burn box. Very easy. Okay. Uh, put this on top. Here. Put this on top. Here. Put this on top. Here. Yes. Rama carrier. Yes. This this is the Rama carrier. It has holes on both ends. There's one on this side. One there. Then there's another one behind. So one is for the not for normal blocks, if you want to mold your 6 inch and 9 inches, the another one is for the interlock. So we are going to be fixing it for the normal blocks. If you want to mold your interlock, you can remove it and turn it around. Okay, so we'll put this on now. So you lift it to have the rama carrier in, into the two holes of the burn box. Lift it from under. Kefas, help him. So you pull it up. It's a little bit difficult because of the paint. <laughs> the pent, right? Yeah, so you need to force it in because of the pent. Two people should it from this side and two from there. Yes, do it from down. Lifted. It hasn't hooked, has it? Lift it now. Lift this. Okay, that's it. So the broom box is in. Okay, and here we have the sand holder. You tie in the sand holder. This will hold the sand. This is where you pour your sand to go into the molds. Screw it.
So as you can see, there are two holes here. One is for the uh, block mold, and then if you want to mold the interlock, you have to take this down and, and screw it beneath. It's supposed to be here. Yeah? Okay. Tighten it properly. Okay, once the sand pan is put in, we will now put in the mold to see. Then you put in the molds from the front. You push it in carefully. Just hold on. So you see the mold, no, the mold has a hole here, one, two, same on the other side, then the mold carrier, there's a hole on both sides, here and on the other side, so you put this on the mold to make sure it aligns in the hole, that's where you then screw it. Okay. So just make sure it fits in. Then you take your bolt and knot. You have it screwed. From under, give us. From under. Put this one. I break up there. So you put your washer and your nut. And then you tie them properly. So once you tie the mold properly, the rama carrier, this is the rama, it has four holes, one here, another one here, down and down. So if you look at the rama carrier, if you look at the rama carrier, it has an adjuster here here and on the other side so that's what you use in adjusting the, the rama for it to go in properly into the mold okay you can put this thing Yeah, 
So point to the mark. That mark is the one that goes in. And then the same mark X is on the mode. So to indicate that the front and the back. Okay, put it in. So you put something on top of the mold so that the rama doesn't drop. So you release the rama carrier. Then here you can bolt it. Okay, put a stop on. So now you're ready to mold the blocks. Um, so, excuse me. So, if you want to mold the blocks, this chain will be underneath at the middle. Then if you want to mold your interlock, you remove the chain and put it at the top here. Then you have four holes here where you can bolt and knot your generator. Generator on top. So that's your new generator. You put it there. So just put the belt on top. There's no need to bolt it there. So that's how you connect your belt and then you pedal from there to vibrate. So you make sure the generator is aligned with the vibrator and the vibrator pedal. Okay. Now you're ready to mold, so you take that out, but you test, you test the rama to see if it will go in. So you drop it, you release, that's it, it goes in. Yeah. Then you can hit, you push it, you pour your sand, you bring it back, then you can release goes in because of the pent stainless so when you pour your sand you 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 use this to vibrate to your satisfaction and then you lift it your blocks are there and you oh. that's it thank you